Hello friends, in this part of making of online examination system, and here we will learn how to make admin login page in online exam system. In previous part, we have seen how to set up admin account, with email verification in this online exam system. So, we have proceed for next part. And here we will learn, how to validate admin login details, for get access into this online exam system. This is login page, and here we want to make login form, so here we have write form tag, with method is equal to post, and id is equal to admin login form. Under this form, we have write input type is equal to text, name, and ID is equal to admin email address, in this field admin can enter his or her register email address. After this, for enter admin password, here we have write input type is equal to password, name, and ID is equal to admin password. In this form, we have also write input type is equal to hidden, name is equal to page, and value is equal to login. For define this page action, here we have write input type is equal to hidden, name and ID is equal to login, we will use this both hidden field value at server side script. Lastly, for submit login details, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and ID is equal to admin login, and in value is equal to login. Below this form, we have write anchor tag, with ref is equal to register.php, with anchor text register, by click on this link, page will redirect to register form. Now we have go to jQuery code, and here we have write dollar with form id admin login form, with parsley method, it will initialize, parsley javascript plugin. After this, we have write, dollar with form id admin login form, with on method, and under this we have write submit event, so when form has been submitted then this block of code will execute. Under this, first we have write event dot prevent default method, it will stop to reload web page. After this, we have write dollar with text box id admin email address with attribute method, and under this we have write required, so it will add this required attribute in this text box field. For validate proper email address format, here we have write dollar with text box id admin email address, with attribute method. And under this method, we have set data parsley type property set to email, so it will check email address is proper format or not, using parsley form validation library. Now, we have write dollar with text box id admin password with attribute method, and under this we have write required, so it will add this required attribute in this text box field. Now for check form data validation, here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write, dollar with form id admin login form. With parsley method, 
and after this we have write.validate method, if form data is valid, then it will proceed for submit form data to server, using Ajax request. Under this block, we have write Ajax request, with first option URL set to Ajax action.php file, it will send request to file. In second option, we have write method, here we can define form data submit method, here we have use post method, for submit form data to server. In third option, we have write data, and here we have write dollar this, with serialize method, it will convert form data into URL encoded string. For define data type, here we have write data type option, and here we have write JSON, so it will receive data in JSON format. In fifth option, we have write before send callback function, this function will be called before Ajax request has been sent. Under this function, we have write dollar with button id admin login, with attribute method, and here we have set disabled property true, so it will disable submit button. After this, we have write dollar with submit button id, admin login with value method, and under this we have write please wait, it will change button text. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write data dot success, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write location dot ref is equal to index.php, it will redirect page to index.php page. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar with span tag id message, with html method. Under this method, we have write data.error, so it will display error on above login form. For enable submit button, here we have write dollar with button id admin login, with attribute method, and under this we have set disabled property to false. And for change submit button text, here we have write button id admin login, with value method, and under this, we have write login, so this text will be display on submit button. Now we have go to ajax action.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar post page variable value is equal to login, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to login, if this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar exam object, with data variable is equal to array. In this array, we have write first key double colon admin email address, with value get from dollar post admin email address variable. Now we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to select star from admin table where admin email address is equal to double colon admin email address. 
Below this query, we have write dollar total row variable is equal to dollar exam object with total row method. This method will return number of row affected by executing above query. After this, we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar total row variable value is greater than zero. If above condition false, that means admin has enter wrong password, and it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. In this array, we have write error in key, and in value we have write, wrong email address message. But suppose, admin has enter write email address, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write dollar result variable is equal to, dollar exam object, with query result method, this method will execute above select query, and return query execution result. For fetch data from dollar result variable, here we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write if dollar row email verified variable value, is equal to yes. If above condition false, that means admin email is not verified, then it will execute else block of code, and under this block we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. And in this array, we have write error key, and in value we have write your email is not verified. But suppose admin email verified, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write password verify method, with two argument. In first argument, we have write dollar post admin password variable, and in second argument, we have write dollar row admin password variable, this method, will used for verify hash password, with normal string password. If enter password is not match with stored hash password, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. Under this array, we have write key error, and under value we have write wrong password. But suppose admin has entered proper password, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, we have write dollar session admin id variable is equal to dollar row admin id variable. So, here we have create session variable, and store admin id in session variable, by using this session variable, we can verify admin has still login into system, from any web page. After this, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array, with key success, and value set to true. Now we want to send response to Ajax request, so here we have write echo statement, with JSON encode method, with dollar output variable, so it will convert dollar output variable, data into JSON string. Now we have go to examination.php class, and here we have create admin session private method, 
This method will prevent admin to access system without login into system. Under this, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write not is set function, with dollar session admin ID variable. This condition will check, if this dollar session admin ID variable value is not set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar this, with redirect method, and under this we have write login.php, so it will redirect page to login page, if admin try to access system, with login into system. Now we have go to header.php file, this header file of admin area, and here also we already included required all library, which you can see here. Here first we have write include statement, and under this we have write examination.php class. After this, we have write dollar exam variable is equal to new examination. Here we have create object of this examination class. And here we have write dollar exam object with admin session private method. This method will prevent to admin for get access into system without login into system and redirect to login page. Here we have use bootstrap for library for make navbar in admin side. Here we want to add logout link under this navbar. So, here under list tag, we have write anchor tag with class is equal to nav link and href is equal to logout.php. So when user click on this link, admin will log out from this system. Now we have go to index.php file, and here we have write include statement, with header.php, it will include all source code of header.php file into, this index.php file. After this, we have go to logout.php file, and here we have write session start function, it will start session variable on this page. Below this, we have called session destroy function, it will remove all session variable. Lastly, we have write header function, and under this we have write location set to login.php, it will redirect page to login.php file. Same way we dot want to access login page and register page if admin is already login into system. For this we have go to examination class. And here we have make admin session public method. This method will redirect admin to index page if he try to access login or register page after login into system. Under this method, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write is set function, with dollar session admin ID variable, if this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar this, with redirect method, and under this we have write index.php, it will redirect page to index page, if admin has tried to access login or register page, after login into system. First we have go to register.php file, and here we have write include statement, with examination.php class. Below this, we have write dollar exam variable is equal to, new examination class, 
here we have create object of this class. And after this, we have write dollar exam object with admin session public method, this method will redirect admin to index page, if he try to access this register page, after login into system. Now we have go to login.php file, and here we have write include statement, with examination.php, here we have include this examination class. Below this, we have write dollar exam variable is equal to, new examination, here we have create object of this class. And after this, we have write dollar exam object with admin session public method, this method will redirect admin to index page, if he try to access this login page, after login into system. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, for login into system, here we can see register page, and below it we can see login link, so we have click on this link. So, here we can see login page on web page, with form details like email address, and password with login button, first we have directly click on login button. So, here we can see validation error on web page, now we have enter wrong email address, and wrong password, and click on login button. Now we can see, wrong email address error, we can display on web page, now we have enter right email address, and wrong password, and click on login button. After click on login button, we can see wrong password error on web page, now we have enter right password, and click on login button. After click on login button, here we can see page has been redirect to index page, and here we can see one navbar with logout link. Now in browser, and we have type login.php, and press enter, after press enter, page is not redirect to login page, it is still display index page, that means after login into system, admin cannot see login or register page. For logout into system, we have click on logout link, after click on logout link, admin has logout from system, and redirect to login page. Now in browser, we have enter index.php, and try to access index page, but again page has redirect to login.php, that means for access index page, admin has to login into system. So, this admin login tutorial of online examination system, in next page, we discuss how to display, all examination list on web page in jQuery data table plugin. If you have some suggestion regarding this PHP based online examination system, you can comment in comment box. If you want to learn this system, please stay connected with us.